Hi there guys, I wanted to do a quick review of this, my Prime 1 half scale Terminator, the T800 Endo. Now this 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 fellow has been around for a while now, probably coming up to a year I think since he was first released. So I don't, I'm not going to do go on too much about this really, I just want to do a quick video really of all my pieces, my review and what my opinion is of the pieces that I've got in my collection. So, um, and this is the last of the Prime 1 pieces that I, I currently have to do. So I'm doing this, uh, I've not long got home from work actually, so I'm hoping that this comes out pretty clear on the camera. And so yeah, let's let's crack on anyway. Cause like I said, I don't really want to sort of dwell on this piece because there are quite a few reviews out there and you know, so it's the, the information's already been covered on this really, but yeah, here we go. So the, I suppose the only thing in the room with this piece is the fact that it was the leaning issue. And I certainly saw one photograph going back now when this first came out from someone who theirs had got quite a severe lean on it. But if memory serves me right, I, I, I can't remember there being many cases. If, if that might have actually been a unique case, I'm not sure, but I certainly didn't see many cases. Now there is a lean on this piece, certainly that, looks more more prominent than what was on the original prime one uh preview pictures of this piece on that certainly it looks more upright but let me say that the, the lean is correct it's as it should be it's it's fine certainly with mine now what made it look worse for me was when i had it and i'd had this piece for probably about a month before i realized that the head tilts back so when I put the head on, the head was in line with the neck. So it's, it was looking towards the floor and that sort of overemphasized the lean. But as soon as I realized that that head tilted back, I mean, it just looks fine. It looks great. I mean, I absolutely love this piece. I mean, I've got mine, as you can see, set up on the floor. I wouldn't be putting this on a shelf or anything. I, a friend of mine did that and I thought it looked didn't look right on a shelf this 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 looks brilliant on the floor so if you were maybe thinking about getting this and worried about where shelf space are we going to split honestly bang this on the floor somewhere it looks it's it's big enough it looks it looks wonderful uh okay so yeah so the lean the head tilting back i'd say no issue with mine now i agree with what i read at the time from other people this thing is a bloody nightmare to put together and do you know what again this is something that i alluded to on one of my previous videos i could strip this apart now take it all apart and put it back together without the instructions no problem at all no problem at all because a lot of the difficulty comes from the fact that the instructions there are so many stages the photographs are so small you can't see what piece that they're talking about and where they're wanting you to put it it's just it's too cramped and this again this this goes back to what i said before prime one please if instead of making your photograph so small and cramming them in onto give us a booklet give us at least two or three sheets so you the photographs can be big and they can be clear or even just bang out an out of the box video before you release the statue i mean kudos to sideshow they they've been doing that for years now anyway so yeah, um, putting it together was, I, I think I had to walk away from it at one point and come back. And I think in total, I was probably over two hours banging this together. So made more awkward by the fact that there are two pins which fit in there and in there. And also one of these little areas pens here, they, it comes off so that you can feed that through a hole in there and then you put that on and it slots in. Now, the two pins, I couldn't find them anywhere, and I couldn't find that either. So I was looking everywhere, and I was getting frantic. This was why I had to walk away at one point, because I was just getting quite wound up. Now, I found one of the pins. It had actually stuck in one of the areas on the statue where the where there was a magnet, and it stuck to that. Never found the other pin. No idea where it is. Um, I solved the issue with simply cutting the end off a, a, a welding rod, and that, that's in the other side, and it fits fine, and it does the job. It's only, it's only to hold that that piston in place uh that piece there it actually well it was in there somewhere and i had to i had to fiddle to get it out so and this here this this is very very stiff and i'd be very careful that you don't break these so i i would be sort of 
getting that roughly into the shape you want it before you you thread it through so yeah be careful with that guys and the other issue i had with this was this hose that comes up here not on this side on the other side that kept popping out because it's only on a very 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 small pin and it kept popping out the hole now i solved that by putting a tiny 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 little bit of blue tack on the bottom of the pin and then boom it holds it in place perfectly and if ever i was to get rid of it that that blue tack will just come come off perfectly clean so yeah so really guys there's not a huge amount more for me to say about this piece really you can see for yourself it's i mean it is absolutely fantastic it looks pretty especially when you sit face onto it bang on to that really scary scene from the film where he's coming down that corridor towards them closing that door which was i can remember that sort of terrifying me when i was younger when i first saw this film because i would have been about oh, i can't remember how old i was when this the, the first terminator came out um mid-teens maybe i can't remember and anyway uh yeah and they, they they've captured that superbly i think and the detail and everything on this is fantastic the weathering on it's fantastic it is a little bit uh, you look at that you've got to be a little bit careful what you do with this i wouldn't get wanting to move it around or i mean i had some a couple of friends staying over and i said to the one don't touch it and he did and a bit fell off it so it's it is a little bit fragile a little bit delicate this isn't like uh, as you can see behind it the battle rock there you can pick that up and slide that around it's it's solid, solid sturdy piece this one is a yeah <clears throat> it's a definitely a, a museum look and don't touch piece uh the batteries are those takes two of those watch batteries and i can't remember the size of them now guys but if you need to know just just give me a shout and i will find out for you i've got a box somewhere of, of a, some of the spare ones in it but I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is those two of those round watch batteries. But say the size has escaped me. So, yeah, so that's it, really. I've been waffling on now for over seven minutes, so I'm not <coughs> going to go on anymore. I mean, I need to have a swag of my tea because my throat's drying up. I will be doing a video this weekend, another haunt chat video. So all being well. So I'll be doing that this weekend. So if you've got anything you want to bring up, just message on the, on the bottom of this video or message me directly or whatever and i'll bring it up and discuss it and yeah there we go really guys i'm not going to go on any more about it so prime one half scale terminate t800 in my opinion absolutely fantastic piece once you've got it set up once you've got it set up a headache to do that but once you've gone through that headache fantastic highly recommend highly recommend it anyway take care everyone and I'll catch you all on my next video.